Hi, my name is Kat, I'm a California CPA and I'll show you how to enter K1 in Lacert. Uh, so we go under, let's see, here one, uh, under uh, section 20, it says uh, pass through K1s. And here on the left side, you can see a couple sections. So we can enter K1s here for partnership, S corps and trust. So we have to choose which one, uh, which K1 we enter before we enter in it, because after we add certain type of K1, we won't be able to change it. We have to delete it. So let's say we enter partnership K1. We pre so we enter like EIN number, partnership, partnership one. And here under partnerships, it will show up also, uh, and we need to fill it up all the general information. So let's say if it's non-passive activity, if they're actively involved in that partnership, that's where we can uh, change it up, like any details. Um, so yeah, EIN is mandatory. I don't think address is mandatory here. If it's PTP, that's where we check if it's private traded partnerships or foreign partnerships. If uh, K1 is final, it doesn't have a box final here. Uh, what we do, we do delete this next year box and that will free up any unallowed passive losses if you have any and it's not going to carry forward to next year. If accidentally we did um, carry over K1 from last year to this year but we don't need it, we just can press delete this year. So it will still show up under this tax return. Actually, it will delete this here, but we can still have it here um, for informational purposes only. And under part three, that's where we enter information and it correspond, It just easily corresponds to K1. So right, if you have like line one, line two, like all the pretty much lines, and that's where we enter it here. If we have states that different, we can just enter it here and add state right here if you have a couple states or if it's just one state, I think it automatically will go to that state. If you have to source it, that's kind of where we enter it here and we add sourced or not. So state information is to the right and that's where we enter all the federal information that aligns with our K1. The interested in very interesting thing about LaCert, it has a like a great, great option. It will track, it can track basis for us. So if you go, there is basis carryover if you need to enter any from prior year, if they're not entered, but usually basis are entered here and it can track all the basis for us. So it can do at risk basis, regular basis, like uh, we also enter share of liabilities right here. So I'll show you how to enter basis limitation. Let's see, let's imagine they didn't have any basis at the beginning of the year. So you see like here, we have to enter something here, it's mandatory. So if it was none, we'll just enter minus one. It should automatically include uh, book income losses from this year. But if you have to enter, like, let's say contributions, contributions, that's where we enter it. Distributions, it will um, automatically pull it up from line, um, what line is has distributions, line 19. And the same for share liabilities, that's where we entered and just to remind you, that's where basis is go under K1. So that's where we get all the information. And also here's non-recourse, recourse, beginning, ending liabilities that tax LACERT will track for us. So all we have to do is to enter beginning and ending. And next year it should, uh, it should uh, carry forward for us. It also will capture at risk carryovers. And so it's just an amazing feature that LACERT has to so make sure you don't forget to enter basis for partnerships and S corps. Also, uh, so if you do enter S Corp, we just go to add, we go to S Corps. I'm sorry. And we do like, let's say name of S Corp company one. So now we have uh, when we press under, uh, so under all we can see as a type of S Corp partnership, we can also add a state, a state, oops. 
estate one and also like now we have a state in here as well uh yeah so that's pretty much it so the important is to make sure enter basis is liabilities and it's pretty straightforward how to enter uh, k1 because every line is corresponding to k1 if they don't it give us like here lacert has like really good notes like let's say um any box so let's say 10h they say no this thing should go listed below or please go to other section so it's pretty awesome uh let's see oh 199 section 199 goes here so we just enter like ordinary income and if you have any w2 wages or um, basis section 199 so it's pretty self-explanatory and if you have any questions you can always like let's say let's go under basis um oops i, I know why i should go to partnership because that's where i enter information and if you have any questions you can always press help here and will like it will just give you like additional information like um, chat or any like questions you might have so yeah hope that this video was helpful thank you and bye i hope you found my video helpful uh if you want to learn more about me and what i do please go to my website remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel it means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.